time for a makeover! Not a makeover for myself, but a makeover for my cat's teepee. You guys remember, uh, Red and I made Ruby, our dog, a teepee. And she didn't like it very much. So we ended up giving it to our cats, Link and Navi, and they love it. They use it all the time. Linky likes it the most. So it's looking a little sad right now. It needs a little extra love. So today I decided to give them a little teepee makeover. And you guys can do this for your pets as well. So I bought the teepee off of Amazon and I would suggest getting it off of Amazon. It's not expensive at all and it's super easy to put together. It'll save you a lot of time. But you can always spruce it up to your pet's liking. So I wanted to add some pom-poms to this little teepee to the door opening because I thought it would make it super cute. I also did add a little bit of pom-poms to the top of the teepee just to give it a little bit of an extra flair. You can add color here if you like. If you're into super pastel and bright colors, try to find some different pom-poms that you can use. And I'm just sewing these on by hand. It's probably quicker if you do it by machine, but I didn't feel like taking it apart and then redoing it. So if you haven't put it together, I would suggest sewing this on before. Originally, I wanted it to go all the way around the teepee on the base, but I didn't have enough pom-pom ribbon to do that, so I just put it on the little door entry. So next, I decided that it's time to upgrade the lights. Those lights were just too big and bulky and were kind of ugly. So I took them off and I got some twinkle lights. They're battery operated and I put them around nicely. Uh, these look really well in photos. So if you're photographing your pet, you totally want something that's gonna come across good in the photographs. You know, cause we're all on that Instagram pet game. Are we all on that? I'm on that. So after I updated the lights, I thought it'd be super cute to have like little miniature plants like as if they had a little patio out in front. Um, so Link actually loves to chew on real plants. Um, I did have some cat grass for him, but it went kind of bad. So I think I might start growing my own cat grass, but for now I am going to put in these, they're plastic little fake plants in these cute tiny little pots. I found them at Hobby Lobby. I also found this super adorable little watering pot. It's actually for like a miniature garden, like a fairy garden. Um, but I just broke off the bottom piece and set this outside just to add a little extra something. It is so adorable. If you go to like the craft store and you go to like the garden and you find like the little fairy garden and the little gnome stuff, there's a lot of little miniature stuff there that you can use. That is so freaking cute. Go crazy, depending on your taste. So I thought it would be super nice to have a little drinking fountain near the bed for my pets because I only have one for the cats and it's upstairs on the second floor. So the cats have to go upstairs to drink water and I thought it'd be super cute to have one, you know, kind of like a little zen fountain for them, help lull them to sleep, but also they can drink from it. And my cat Link really loves flowers. He likes to eat all of our house plants. So I found this one at Petco and it has a little flower top uh, spout at the top and it's freaking adorable. It works really well. They love it. They drink from it. Even Ruby can reach it. So if you have multiple pets, this one is so cute. It's not like ugly. I, I just hate how the other ones look. This was definitely the cutest one that I can find. So I'm placing that off to the corner. And then I decided it would be super cute if the actual teepee had like little pictures of us and our cat's favorite things. Uh, so I got a little Instax uh, camera and I took some pictures of me and Red and the cats around the house and Ruby. And then I found these tiny little clothespins at the craft store as well. And I'm just grabbing some jute and you literally just clip them on. There's like no tying, no stringing stuff. Just literally clip it on. I was gonna put it on the inside, but Link is a pretty big cat. And I noticed that there was a lot of fur like where I was planning on putting these pictures. 
So I don't want to disrupt the inside of his teepee, so I just decided to tie it on the outside of the teepee. And since Linky really loves flowers, I thought it'd be so cute to add some fake flowers onto the top of the teepee. Hopefully he can't reach these, but I just stuck them inside of where I tied the actual pom-poms and stuck them through the little name tag. And then I found a butterfly that I had. These are like butterflies with wire on them. Um, and I had a bunch of them from a previous project. So I just got it and wrapped it around one of the edges and wrapped a flower in to that as well. And then let the butterfly kind of just like hang off the top like it's flying onto the flower. And that is all that I did. Honestly, it looks 10 times better. I'm so happy with the way that it came out. And now Ruby even wants this as her bed. Of course. She's like, I want this to be my bed now. That's so nice. Ruby, that's not your bed. Ruby. <laughs> She's messing it up. What are you doing in there? That's not your house. You that's forfeited that Link house. Link and Navi's house. What are you doing, you little bear? Thanks, Ruby. I'll take it as a compliment. But that's Linky and Navi's house. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this type of video, please let me know. Leave a like on the video. Share it with your friends. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And also hit the little bell so you can get notified. Whenever I upload a video, I will definitely be doing some more stuff with my pets my fur babies and for now you can just enjoy ruby stealing the cat's teepee <coughs> how rude huh link <laughs> <laughs>